What is going on YouTube? Gamons here and welcome to this new video. So today I want to show you my picks for 5 must have Linux apps for 2018. So guys with no further ado, let's check it out. Number 1. Marker Marker is a new markdown editor sporting a sleek GTK3 interface and some more advanced features. If you don't know what Markdown is, it's a simple markup language, ideal for use in blog posts, forums, or even just to take notes. But Marker is not just yet another Markdown editor, it actually has some very nice extra features. As in many other Markdown editors, you can customize the editor and preview style, but that's pretty standard. In Marker you can also add diagrams with Mermaid and plots using Charter. There's also support for SheDown and TechMat. Additionally, there is also support for adding hand-drawn sketches and if you plan on using Marker to take notes, it's an incredibly useful feature. Finally, with Marker you can also export your Markdown text in a plethora of different formats, including PDF, RTF, ODT, DOCX, HTML and LaTeX. Marker is a very new app, so you can probably expect some errors or malfunctions here and there, but overall it works pretty well considering how young it is. You can install Marker from Flathub or from the AUR. For more info, visit Marker's website at fabiocolaccio.github.io slash marker with a capital M. You will find the link in the description. Number 2. Hammond If you like podcasts and you're looking for a nice podcast manager in Linux, you may want to check this out. Hammond is a very simple podcast manager. It has a very modern and straightforward GTK3 interface. It lets you subscribe to your favorite podcasts through RSS links. Once you download an episode, you can play it using your favorite media player. It has two views, episodes showing all the episodes of your podcasts in a single view in date order, and a shows view that allows you to see a single show isolated from the others. Overall, it's a minimal app and it offers practically just basic features, but if that's all you're looking for, then it's just perfect. This app is also still early in development, but all the features present do work perfectly in my experience. Just keep in mind that you'll probably be seeing new features as time goes by and development progresses. As of now, the easiest way to install Hammond is building a flatpak on your own. If you want to know more, visit Hammond's GitLab page at gitlab.gnome.org slash altatiera slash Hammond. You will find the link in the description. Number 3. Hydra Paper Warning, shameless self-advertisement ahead. Hydra Paper is a wallpaper manager for GNOME with a twist. If you have a multi-monitor setup on your Linux PC, you probably know that there is no easy way for setting a different wallpaper per monitor, at least in some desktop environments, namely GNOME. The only way is making a custom wallpaper that fits your total resolution and mimics the arrangement of your displays. Or at least it was until now. I made Hydra Paper to solve this problem. In fact, it lets you do exactly that in a very simple way. Just select the wallpaper for each monitor, press the apply button and you're done. Hydra Paper merges all the wallpapers automatically into one and sets it for you. But if you just have a single monitor setup, don't worry, Hydra Paper is something for you as well. If you have many wallpapers and you like to organize them in folders, you can add all of them and see all of your wallpapers in one place. If you want to see just some folders, you can dynamically hide them and even set some wallpapers as favorites. As of now, Hydra Paper supports GNOME and Badgy with Mate coming soon. You can install it from Flathub or from the AUR. If you want to know more, visit Hydra Paper's GitHub page at github.com slash gapmus slash Hydra Paper. You will find the link in the description. Number 4. Keepass XC. Keepass XC is an open source, secure and offline way to store passwords and sensible data alike. It is mainly a password manager, but it can be a lot more than that. You can create Keepass XC encrypted databases in the form of a simple file in your disk. And from there, you can save all of your passwords as well as other sensible data and even attachments and save it all inside the database. 
you can lock the database using just a password or you can also use a key file or YubiKey challenge response or a combination of these for additional security. KeepaSexy also has a password generator with built-in password strength meter. It also integrates very nicely with your browser, be it Firefox, Chrome, Chromium, or even Vivaldi using the official browser extension. And if you want to sync the database across all of your devices, you can just use a cloud service of your preference. This is just a few of the many options available on KeepaSexy, and if you want to know more, I strongly suggest you to visit the project website at keepasexy.org. As always, you will find the link down in the description. Number five, Matrix. Now, this last pick is not really an app by itself, but rather a protocol. There are two clients I picked for Matrix, and they are Riot and Fractal. But first, let's talk about Matrix itself. Matrix is an open network for secure and decentralized communication. It is a protocol for potentially any form of communication, including chat, VoIP, and file transfer. One of the nicest things about Matrix is that it can be bridged uh, with many other services like IRC, Telegram, Discord, and Slack, just to name a few. To learn more about Matrix, I strongly suggest you to visit the website at matrix.org. Again, the link will be in the description. Let's now talk about the first Matrix client I picked, Riot. Riot is an Electron app and is probably the most complete Matrix client out there. It has VoIP support and offers a very fine customization for notifications. It also supports emoji attachments and file preview. It is so far the easiest client to start using Matrix. If you want to try it out, you can install it from Arch Repos or adding a third-party repository to Ubuntu or Debian, or again, from Flathub. Alternatively, you can use it directly from your browser. If you want to know more about Riot, check it out at riot.im. The other client I want to talk about is Fractal. This time it's a GTK3 app and it's far more lightweight compared to Riot. It does have all the basic features Riot has, including attachments, file preview, and emoji, and delivers it all with a very nice and intuitive interface. But at the same time, it's not as complete as Riot. VoIP support is not there, and the room directory doesn't work perfectly yet. There is definitely room for improvement, but it has plenty of potential. Right now, the best way to install Fractal is from Flathub. If you want to know more about it, check out its GitLab page at gitlab.gnome.org slash dannygm slash fractal. Again, the link will be in the description. So guys, this is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Also make sure to check out the TechPills website at techpills.technology. You will find the link in the description. So again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.